of surveys. Okay. So now this, this is in collector. This is in collector. I'm running it. I'm not connected to any web at all. Okay. So we have a couple sample points in here. Right. Those are sample points, but then we have um, that was our mortality. Okay. So I can come into here, go into de show details. So that's all the data we collected for there. Okay. And so if I wanted to, um, let me see if that's going to work. I can collect a point and then if you work the domains correctly, you can do the drop down lists. Okay, cool. So in this case, let me see if it's going to work. Okay, I'm going to add a point. I'm going to go to the map. Shit. This, no, this is a Panasonic issue, and it's I have to reboot it because once it loses where it's at, if it doesn't have a GPS signal in your work area, and this thing's ruggedized. This one here. Oh yeah. And how much was that sucker? This is about three grand. Oh crap. Okay. The only problem is there is, is, is that that TPK file you saw was just shy of seven gigabytes. And what's the memory like on this? Um, it has a 32 gig internal memory. It will run a micro SD card, but it's in FAT32, so you can only limit it to four gigs. Okay. Okay. When I connected USB to USB, okay. this is operating almost as another computer, so it doesn't connect it as if it's another memory device. Okay. Okay. So we had to go with Google Drive and eventually bring it down. Let me see if this one will work now. Okay, so like I said, so we can go from there in terms of the imagery down to here if we absolutely had to, and awesome. that's a that's a seven awesome. gigabyte file. Awesome. Um, going. And this is your whole area. This is your whole. This, this is ninety by ninety ish. Th that area about, there. Right. Is this area here. So let me try it again. See if it'll work. It. Ugh. Damn it's you. Good. It's all good. It's all good. Um, but the other neat one of what we've done here is under coral observations. So this is one where we had a request for coral disease. Uh -huh. So and this is done in the field. This is done from imagery. This, this is this is done from it would be somebody diving. Okay. So I'm going Not to. Not with this, but after the dive, you're written. Long right, long. right. So they would be here. Okay. Let's see if I can find. I have. Oh no, wrong, wrong area. I'm over here. And the points are unfortunately a little bit hard to see because I didn't set them up correctly ahead of time. Okay, so there's that point there. Okay. So now if I go details, come on. So that's the individual place here, but now I have related data. Great, very cool. So now I can do, so this is the number, of, this is the conditions that we saw, that they hypothetically saw there. So we had one position with white pox. So now I can come in and let's say uh, data um, species. So there's three species cool. there. So that's three separate records. Cool. So that's working with related tables. Cool. Now getting it out of here is the, the, butt. Is the problem. So because it's not just going to sink when you get back to the network. It's not just going to sink. It's going to sink. The question is, is getting your data out of the ArcGIS Online world into what you're working. Right. Plus, we may be working with folks that don't want to download the background imagery right. Right. that would right. want to, let's say, use a data sheet, and come right. back in and right. edit. But well, you can't edit related tables in ArcGIS Online right now. So we can create the web map. We can have somebody come in and edit it. I can put, do a point. That'll be that first set of data. But it's not. But it's I not can't slick. go do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't go do the related tables right cool, now. Cool, man. Well, that's great. Super cool. Look at that. Good, good geospatial yeah. science in Florida.